What's up guys, Lucas here. So we made the pull-up bar setup in only five minutes. Now as requested, let's make the dip bar setup in only five minutes. But you gotta focus. All right, before I go to the garage, I decided, hey, might wanna just take a look around the house. Anything we could use for this dip bar setup. Chairs. So these chairs are pretty sturdy. Put them about a little bit more than shoulders width apart. Core tight. Oh. So you can actually make this work quite well, okay? The key is, is you kind of want to push out slightly if you're going to do this double chair idea. Because if you're going neutral or even pulling in a little bit, you know, most chairs lean back. And what's going to happen is they're going to collapse in. So if you push out like a little, just a little bit, all right, don't push out too much, just a little bit, then you can do your dips. All right guys, out in the garage here. This is called my name, Ladder. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think these are pretty standardized, so. Ooh man, is that too narrow? Guys, you just gotta use your mind, you gotta think, okay? That is, that is tough. It's about the right size. Seeing what we can do, seeing what we can do. You know what, scrap that. Got another broom right here. Oh man, guys, it's done. Hack number two, minute number two. Want to get into my dip bar setup? Open her up. Lock her in. Lock her in. There we go. Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. So problem is, it's a little narrow. Oh man. Yeah. Maybe if you had a narrower body, but these hips don't lie right here. I tell you. Oh, plus, it's like I want to break this one. Check this out, Mona. Look at look. Guys, we've got our broomstick and we've got our shovel, both heavy duty. We have our two chairs, pretty sturdy. Now let's assemble our apparatus. See the chairs, with the chairs you got a little bit wider spacing than the ladder. Oh, actually maybe not. Unless we go to the outside of the chairs, right there. Okay, there's two reasons why that's a terrible idea. Number one, you're gonna ruin the broomstick handle and the chair. Number two, because it'll be on the side of the chair, when you put that force down, it's gonna rip the screw right out of the chair unless you put in like 10 screws. Hey, hey, I love putting in a bunch of screws to make it stronger, but you know what? It's just a stupid idea. Yo, am I just super lucky? Check this out, guys. All right, check it out. So it just so happens this ledge is approximately the same height as these chairs. And when you put the broom and the shovel on the chair, check it out, check it out now. Make sure it's sturdy, give it a little, give it a little test. She works, but she's not safe. Conceptually it works, but this is a little bit flimsy and then that chair problem like this is a little bit flimsy and then Yeah, what are you gonna do? All right buckle up, baby. You're going for a ride Always wear eye protection unless you're really focused It was then I realized how stupid this idea was how there's nothing in this drill and how there's a better idea awaiting my arrival I've got a way better idea. What fine legs you got there? Well, that sounded weird. I know what you guys are thinking. Yeah, are you really gonna do that, bro? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Don't worry, she'll go back together just fine. Okay. Look at look at this. All right, let's just do it. Okay. Little button right there. Push that. Pop that off. That's perfect. Like you don't even need that, anyways. See? Don't even need that. So if you don't need one, you probably don't need the other one. Well, look at it, it's even got these dip bar stabilizers. You can put on the outside if, you, if you're someone who likes to push out, but if you're someone who likes to pull inward when do, doing your dips, put them on the inside. I'm an inward kind of guy. Bang.
Maybe I'm an out. I'm pro. I'm an outward guy, actually. I'm actually inward. And look, guys, they're portable. Look at this. All right, guys, back inside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do we call it a success, man? I don't know. Hey, you know what? Always be optimistic. I call it a success because I learned three very important things when trying to build this five minute dip bar. Number one, we are spoiled. We are just spoiled. The equipment has been doing way too much work for us. What am I talking about? Nice solid dip bars. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's optimal. But you can get the same effect doing this exercise with just two chairs, for example. You can look at it like, oh, it's just so uncomfortable, but that's the point of working out, right? It's for your body to adapt to discomfort so that you get stronger and better. A solid dip bar setup would be great, honestly. But it's just like, guys, if you're gonna sit there and not do it, because you don't have a dip bar, and that's the only reason, no, no excuses, no excuses. Simple, works, you just need to concentrate, and you need to be careful, and you need to do so at your own risk. But that's just like anything you do in life, you know what I mean? You can walk up and down the stairs and trip, fall die, you know what I'm saying? Back to optimism, back to optimism. The second takeaway point from this is, if you're dealing with two uneven things, right? Like, maybe the ladder setup, where one hand's like this, one hand's like that, you know? Switch, every set, just switch, just switch back and forth, turn around, okay? And heck, that kind of wraps me around to the first point again. If you're using the dip bars for more isometric type work, such as like a L sit or a tucked planche on the dip bars, you can get away with just one chair. That's right, check this out, check this out. Just one chair. But because it's a little uneven, just do both sides. Just turn around every set, just turn around. And just do an even number of sets, do four sets of that. Six sets, eight sets, 10 sets. You know, five on each side, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, no excuses. If you don't have a chair, you can find a rock. Find a rock outside. And that wraps me around to point number three. There's other exercises that work the same muscle group. So if you're just like, dude, no. I'm just not doing dips. First of all, I don't even like dips. Well then why? Okay, then you're just watching this video for entertainment, okay? So hey, cool, cool, that's cool. But if you're like, hey, I just don't even like dips, now I really don't like dips, so I'm, I'm just like, what, what do I do? This is just it's so stupid. Well, think about the other exercises that hit the same muscle groups. What, are, what do dips hit? Chest, lower chest, triceps, little bit of the shoulders, little bit of the core, well, a lot of the core, if you, you know, do it right, and then your lats a little bit, because you're holding yourself up. Depending on how you do the move, it's basically a full body movement, kind of. So. What's another full body movement? Well, you can argue the push-up is, you know, you do a push-up. You work your shoulder, you work your chest, you work your triceps, you flex your core, you keep it tight. You can do the tucked planche, work on your tucked planche. Do that, that works the core. Bench dips or chair dips, dips that don't require two pulls, just on the chair, very similar, very similar. All you need is a platform, like a chair or like a bench. Two, ba. Put on some weights, like a backpack with some weights. If you really are advanced, you need that resistance, you know what I'm saying? But guys, if you do it right, if you do the form right and you concentrate, you're gonna get a great workout with just your body weight. The thing is, is a lot of us have been, you know, we've been in the gym and like I said, we're spoiled. We are spoiled in the gym, all this fancy equipment. And it's like, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I need this weight to get that workout. But you're just like, you're just going, you're just going through the motions with the weights. You're not even getting a good workout. If you just drop the weight down even back when you go, when you get your chance to go back to the gym, drop the weight down. You really go slow and you concentrate. Or even if you're doing an explosive exercise, if you concentrate on the explosion, you're gonna notice you're getting a better workout and your explosions are gonna be faster and you're gonna be getting faster in the long run. Same as it goes to strength and size. If you're concentrating better, you're gonna get a better workout. Body weight, weights, it doesn't matter. We're spoiled, stop being spoiled. Now's the time to learn this and get more disciplined. Now is the time, you have the time. Now's the time to get disciplined. Sorry I'm going off on this rant, but what I'm saying is you can get such an effective workout with body weight training or with even light weights, if you're like, forget body weight, I'm doing weights, you know, hey, hey, you just need, you need to focus. With that being said, guys, if you wanna see me maybe try to build a more legit dip bar setup that, you know, would take longer time, I could actually get some decent supplies from the hardware store once it opens back up again. Right now, I don't know if they're wanting us to go in the hardware store and make like, you know, crafts and stuff, because I think that would be considered a craft. It's only for like necessities for the household that you're allowed to go to the hardware store right now. So that might be honestly a little bit till that opens back up. But you know, if we're still wanting it, then maybe I will make a setup. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys took away something from it valuable. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys <laughs> have set up in your house in the comment sections for your in-home workouts. I want to know. Or if you're just doing soul and body weight, let me know in the comment sections, guys. I want to know. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy out there. Peace. You all have a good one. I will see you all in the next video.